A significant part of medieval literature contains astrological texts, especially astronomical tractates up until Kepler's age and even after that. The existence of several competing astrological schools led to the use of lavish symbolism by medieval astrologers, which makes it hard to speak of unified astrological definitions. Furthermore, each school developed its own linguistic and symbolic system. However, we shall soon see that many countries have surprisingly enough used a more or less uniform astrological symbolic system for zodiacal constellations. For example, this can mean that astrology was born relatively recently, in the epoch when the means of communication between the astronomers of different countries had already been developed well enough to provide for regular information exchange in a similar astrological language, in Europe and in Egypt, for instance. It would be expedient to remind the reader that the modern names for planets have been introduced by astrologers. The names for days of the week in such languages as English, French and German are also in direct relation to astrological concepts. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. He follows in the footsteps of Sir Isaac Newton and finds clear evidence of the falsification of history. Armed with logic, astronomy and computers, Anatoly Fomenko proves that the history of humankind is dramatically different and drastically shorter than is generally presumed. History, fiction or science is now available in bookshops and on Amazon.com.